I hope everyone is feeling cool, calm and collected today. Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and we're live in many places right now. Getting ready to go with the show in 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Hi to Martina, who I can already see in the chat. Peter Young saying nice one to Renato, who is first, first on the chat stream today. By the way, wherever you happen to be watching, I can see your chats. Like Boss13254, who just joined on Periscope. Nice to have you there. So wherever you're watching right now, get ready for the show. It's about to start and we're making DJ sound effects. Pete is fourth in on the chat stream today. Nice work, Pete. Ross is in. Hello, Ross. How are we feeling today? Let me know where it is in the world you're watching from, by the way, in the comment stream. And what you hope to achieve today. Really excited to give you an update on my streaming. Hi to what up, bruh, on uh, on Periscope. Caddo's in, hey, and promoting the wonderful community for Music Radio Creative. Come and join in and uh, have a chat with us outside of the live stream. Martina says I'm a DJ. Ross is a DJ too. Lots of DJs appearing in the chat today, which is nice to see. So an update, I'm using a service um, to restream to lots of different locations. And I did mention it on Friday's show last week. mrc.fm slash restream is where you can go if you want to check it out and join up yourself. If you considered this multiple streaming to multiple different locations. And I've got it all working seamlessly. But I've also still got my own RTMP server that I'm using uh, to stream to places like YouTube, Periscope, Facebook gets its own feed, and so does Twitch. But Restream is now working seamlessly for me on Mixer, which is a Microsoft streaming area, Smashcast, VK, the Russian social network, Ustream, Mob Crush, Daily Motion, Cyber Game, Live Edu, Live Stream, Live House in China, Stream.me, Picato, <laughs> Africa TV, OK.ru, and you now. Streaming in all of those places thanks to mrc.fm slash restream. Check it out for yourself if you thought about doing this multiple streaming across social media. Sheldon's in from Tobago. Nice to have you watching today, Sheldon. We're getting going in just over four and a half minutes. Renato's a DJ at school at the moment. Awesome. Murdad, hello. How to set up music? What kind of music? Let me know. Peter Dirk's a radio DJ. Pete is Austrian. Hey, I know we've got a lot of Australians. It's nice to see an Austrian as well in the chat. David Silkin, hey. Nice to see you, David. Juan as well from Mexico. Good to see you there in the chat. Isabella is there with the spanner. We've got two spanners today. <laughs> Caddo and Isabella getting ready to um, help and assist. They're benevolent spanners. <laughs> I'm loving the OM. Yeah, the OM. 432 hertz. The God frequency. The God frequency. That's right, David, meditation music. Just to get, you know, get you in the mood, the right frame of mind. Why not? Hasn't that awesome? Thanks for saying awesome. It hasn't even started yet. <laughs> Thanks, Caddo, for the great uh, great chats there in the, uh, in the YouTube stream right now. Austria doesn't have kangaroos, no. I, I know. <laughs> Good morning to Anthony. It's good to see you back in the chat today. Hello. From Jacksonville in Florida at GCFX Smooth Jazz Radio. Oh, and a very happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, Anthony Hall. Do you want me to sing? Hmm. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Anthony. Happy birthday to you. Was that all right for you? David, I'm already tired. <laughs> Don't put me under any further. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll wake you up in a minute. Kamer is in. Hello to you. <laughs> I really should not sing on the stream. Thanks, Isabella. Yeah, go on, drop a super chat. Why not? To support the show, you can just hit the dollar sign underneath the chat box next to the emoji icon. I understand that not all countries have access to super chat. Kamera Gubin 04 is from Sweden. Hello from Quebec, Canada. Matthew, hi to you. Happy Cats Day to Pet Cats. Today is World Cat Day. Nice. Christopher. Zzz, what? <laughs> Has that? Yeah, we're counting down now. <laughs> Cato's cracking his jokes. <laughs> okay, get ready. We're making DJ sound effects today. The stream starts in just over one minute from now. How you doing? I am Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and this is the live show that we do every single weekday, Monday to Friday, from 2pm till 3pm UK time uh, and it's all about audio production. So it's for you if you're an audio producer, if you're into music and uh, music production and creation, if you are a podcaster, a voiceover artist, if you're a DJ, a radio host, if you do anything to do with creative audio, this is your home. Welcome along to it. It's great to have you here today we're talking about creating dj sound effects which i'm very excited about i might even get into adobe audition and use the uh, dj drop template that they have available uh, to put all those sound effects together and make a little dj drop for you today so we're focusing on that. Lots of good stuff happening in the chat today, by the way. Do become a part of it. And the way you can do that is uh, simply by heading to the chat wherever you're watching. And then you can um, you can just type something in. And every 15 minutes during the show, I mention the comments. I like to keep it like that so we can focus on content. And then at 15 minutes in, 30 minutes, 45 minutes in, and towards the end, if we can squeeze them in, I always like to get as many comments in. I also like to feature your work on the show, by the way. So anything you want to send in, uh, a lot of people are doing that and chatting outside of this live stream time, which only lasts an hour, at community.musicradiocreative.com. And i got to say a big shout out and hello to Jenny, who uh, composed this for the show. Have a listen to it. It's awesome. Oh, you hear it unfolding now. Posted, by the way, in the community, which you can join at community.musicradiocreative.com. Listen to this. This is awesome. What a fat beat. Joe commented saying, it's very cute. I feel like I should be in a castle trying to save the princess. <laughs> the Tone Arranger is Caddo. Interesting to see the final mix with voice added. Well done. Nice and punchy kick drum and gated snare. 
getting a Yamaha. Very nice. So thank you to Jenny for creating this wonderful music uh, composition. Uh, not only that, um, but Jenny has been uh, collaborating another project, uh, which I'll tell you about uh, in 30 minutes' time, but uh, I think that's rather wonderful as well, and it's just amazing uh, that members of the Music Radio Creative community are getting together and, um, and just putting their creative heads together and creating all kinds of amazing stuff. Just before, by the way, we get into the uh, the DJ section. I wanted to. I like this bed actually. I'm going to. I'm going to bring more music beds into the show. I think. <laughs> kind of makes me feel like a radio DJ again. Um, I wanted to bring you up to date on my experience with Restream. Okay, you might remember if you watched the stream on Friday, the Friday that's just been. Uh, I told you about a service that you can access at mrc.fm/restream. mrc.fm/restream, and uh, this is it. As you can see, it's all in action now. Some of the services, for some reason, are not connecting. Um, but you might remember on Friday I had a bit of a problem with it, and I had to stop it and reconnect, and uh, it was all a little bit messy. But now I think I've got some pretty sweet settings going into Restream. Uh, and what Restream allows you to do is, uh, and I get asked this question quite a bit, Mike, how are you streaming live on, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Periscope, on Twitch, and all these other platforms at the same time? Uh, so I've got my own uh, RTMP server that I set up, but also uh, I use mrc.fm slash restream, uh, which, by the way, if you join through that link, uh, I get a, a little goodie in my account, not a financial reward, but something that allows me to upgrade my streaming. Um, so I can use this to stream on uh, Mixer, which is a Microsoft platform. Uh, we've got Smashcast, VK, all of these great uh, networks here that allow you to stream live on, I'm using Restream uh, to do that. So it's all working pretty nicely for me right now. So I thought I'd let you know about that. Okay, right, let's get into it uh, and let's head straight over and start creating some effects we can work with. We'll be working mainly in Adobe Audition today but we'll also hop over uh, perhaps to Logic. We might have a play with the, um, the Ultra Beat uh, drum synth in there. And we also might have a play with uh, DJ Pro, which is a great app for um, Macs and also iOS and uh, iPad as well. It's uh, fantastic for DJs who want to work on the go with things. So let's go to Adobe Audition. And first of all, I wanted to show you, uh, should I keep this going? There's just so much of this music. I love it so much. Thank you, Jenny, by the way, for creating this. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right. <laughs> let's fade that away for the moment and uh, and get into an audition here. So we're going to call this uh, DJ Drop and I'm going to create a template. And uh, as you see, I've got my MRC uh, presets there. Uh, there's also a podcast, but if you've never taken the time to look at all the templates available to you via Adobe Audition, I highly recommend you figure out what's in there because some might be perfect for your project. There is a DJ Drop template here. And if you click OK, it kind of loads up your track with a few effects. Uh, pre-made and ready to go, uh, mainly for voice uh, and, and flanging and echo and bits like that. But you've also got a music track to, to pop your music into. So that's quite good. I'll be using that. And uh, I wanted to create a new audio file as well called uh, White Noise Drop. And I wanted to create a basic bit of white noise. Now, obviously, you can do this with some of the synths and bits over in Logic. But um, generating white noise and just manipulating it slightly. Let's see. What have we got here? Let's go to default. Uh, and we want white noise. Like that. Or maybe pink noise today. Pink noise is a bit... Fuller. And the reason why pink noise is fuller, let's have a look at spectral frequency here, is you get a kind of uh, nice sliding scale here uh, with the highs not having too much and then quite a lot around the low end. Whereas if I go to white, it's kind of all the frequencies are, are equally noisy and messy. So I think I'm going to go for a nice low end, bassy uh, pink noise like that. And uh, I might just uh, chop that down to about two seconds. So this can be the start of a DJ drop with all homemade sound effects. Very nice. Uh, so let's go to time and pitch, and we'll go to uh, the pitch bender, and we can have a little play with that. So that might be good for a start. And I was going to do more to manipulate this noise to really uh, give it some kind of kick. Uh, let's have a look here. Modulation. And I want to use the phaser on this. Let's see what kind of options we've got. 
So I'm just going to have a mess about with the phaser now. You might want to look at this up close to see uh, how what I do uh, will change uh, different bits and bobs. So take a look there up close at the phaser on my white noise. And we'll just move a few dials and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Modulation rate, I'm going to move up. So let's play. So you can hear the more you move the modulation rate up, the more it kind of goes wah, 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 wah. And then the further down it goes, the smoother and longer the sweep becomes. So it's how fast is that modulating? So we can move it to somewhere like this. Phase difference. You can move it 180 degrees either way. I'm going to leave the, uh, the phase in the middle, though. Uh, upper and upper frequencies here. We can choose a cutoff point for that. And you can see as you cut off some of the highs, you start to lose some of that, that top end. And uh, if I go back to the screen share mode so you can see everything, I'll pull up the preview so you can see in real time uh, how this affects things. Look at that. Look at that lovely uh, modulation that's happening there. Can you see that, that pattern that's being formed uh, there, which is wonderful? Pop on the high frequencies again, and you'll see how the modulation goes further up into the highs. So it's where are we moving that, that modulation phasing? And I think it sits quite nicely there in the middle gives us a very nice sound. Let's zoom back in and have a listen to uh, what's going on with this little introduction drop here. Let's turn the feedback up and listen to how that changes things. Play back. So as you can hear, if you pull it over down here to the minuses, it kind of makes it very distant, almost like an alarm, and then pull it up there and you get a really close, in-your-face kind of phasing. And the final mix, let's turn that up a bit. Or down. So we'll leave it about the middle there, and uh, I think that is going to be uh, pretty good as far as we go with that, that first little bit there. So that's the first bit, white noise drop. I'm going to drop that into my DJ drop template, and actually what I'm going to do is create a few new tracks, because eventually I want to use these first three tracks uh, to put a voiceover onto. Uh, now a big thanks to uh, David Silk, by the way who has uh, wonderfully been, <laughs> been giving me his Adobe Audition hacks. We're kind of trading Adobe Audition hacks here. Uh, so I'm grateful to David, who has uh, told me, rather than Mike popping down the right menu and going to track and add stereo track, why don't you just hit Alt-A? It's such a cool tip, because I can make tracks really quickly like that. And you can too, uh, if you're busy on a project and you want to create some new tracks. So we'll call this FX1, and we'll call this one FX2. Okay, so we've got some nice white noise here. And again, I can do uh, whatever I want to this, maybe using some uh, convolution reverb. Let's see what kind of stuff we've got. Let's go back to default and uh, move it through some presets here, some impulses, and see if we get any changes here. Let's move it to the right channel over there. Let's see what we've got. Hmm distant, far away. So that's a rather dark sort of introduction phaser, and I'm just going to fade that out now and do that. So now we've got that, uh, why don't we go ahead and introduce a few more bits and bobs. Now I know for a fact that all DJs love to have a round of applause uh, when they are working on, oh, I, I just seen, I'm going to go to the comments in a moment, but I see David's dropping all the bombshells today. Uh, it says Alt B for a new stereo bus. This is just, this is amazing. I, this is why I love doing this stream because no, hopefully you're you're taking home a ton from these streams, but I am actually learning all the time as well, and it's thanks to uh, you watching and, and helping out. Um, so what I was going to do here now is add in some applause for our DJ, and uh, a way to do this, if you've only got one person in the studio, let's make sure we're uh, recording audio channel mapping, let's put that onto my microphone here, 
so yeah, that's right on my mixing desk there. And uh, I know if I change the audio mapping, I'll need to start a new file again. So let's do that. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do with this is do a nice round of applause and whoops for the DJ, the DJ who's coming on right now. Oh yeah, switch off the preview window. Yeah! Woo! Woohoo! Woo! Yeah! Okay, and again. Yeah! Woo! And again. Yeah! Woohoo! And one more time. Yeah! Woo! Okay, uh, so now we have uh, that wonderful audio that's been recorded uh, cleanly into the mixing uh, console there. It's actually uh, one, one of the reasons I love my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixing desk is if I use it as my main audio interface for the computer, I can select to either send everything out from the master channel into Audition, or I can send um, any channel that I want into Adobe Audition uh, pre-fader. Yeah, pre-fader. So I could actually have the microphone turned down here, and uh, it would still pick up my audio, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, so now I've done all that cheering and uh, and warm myself out. Let us let us do some nice, nice hacks here. So I'm going to actually create uh, four new tracks here. Yeah, I've done that. And I'm going to use David's hack and use Alt-B and create a bus. Look at that. Oh, this is so cool. I am learning new things myself every day. Um, so let's bring this now in. So we'll grab all of those lovely claps here. And this is going to be the round of applause for the DJ. And what I'm doing is I'm essentially layering up my recording there to make it sound like there are more people than just one person. So there's uh, lots of Mike Russells at the moment uh, cheering for the uh, the oncoming DJ. Uh, and let's uh, pan hard left, hard right, uh, soft left pan, soft right pan. Okay, so we got a rather sort of dark introduction there and some clapping as well. Uh, now I can bust those all into bus A and maybe add some effects to... Uh, so I really should be labeling these tracks. So claps one. Let's just do that for the sake of uh, completeness here. Claps two, claps three, and claps four. And then we'll just call the bus claps. Uh, and then I'm just going to route all of this through to the claps bus. <laughs> and there we go. All right, so now I can start putting effects on here. I can start like beefing this up, adding some EQ to make it pop out, things like that. Let's just add a bit of parametric EQ and see what we can do with this. Just very subtle, really. Very subtle changes to the EQ there. Uh, what I might want to do is add on a little bit of compression to make it pop out. So let's try uh, adding some uh, compressor. Uh, let's go for dynamics here. Yeah! And then add a little bit of magic and space uh, by adding in some studio reverb here. Uh, so we're going to go all dry for the moment and start bringing the wet in. So the more I pump that wet up, the, uh, the more it's going to sound very washed out. Just bringing the decay down a little bit, maybe bring the dry down. Let's bring all the dry off. Okay, so we got like uh, four mics clapping and chanting woo uh, along with this uh, little introduction effect. 
which we're going to then layer up with some more stuff and start bringing in uh, some voiceovers as well. Now we are at uh, 16 minutes into the show. I think it's definitely worth uh, hopping in and seeing what is going on in the chat box. And at this point, I can actually bring back that nice music bed that Jenny posted at community.musicradiocreative.com uh, I suggest you go and join up yourself actually it's really good fun and you can post a comment um, especially after the show I like to check it just after the show and reply back to any new comments so community.musicradiocreative.com and you can get involved in the discussion some of the latest discussions there uh, we got musicians creating a, a theme jingle for the show uh, talking about audio reduction and restoration or noise reduction and audio restoration uh, trying my hand at some radio imaging lots of people posting their products there um, we've got uh, broadcasting video over all your social media platforms that's another one and doing internet radio as well particularly on YouTube is a hot discussion at the moment as well over in the community so what we got over in the chat uh, we've got English for technical aviation in good morning from Dallas Texas David saying meow uh, LA Cruise just joined the uh, the periscope so it's nice to see you there LA Cruise uh, Hasnat DJ very nice of you to say that James nice DJ uh, what else have we got lots of caps in the chat today very nice indeed um, is the microphone a little bit hot should I just take the maybe take the mic down a, a notch or two hello 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 there you go I'm just taking it down a notch hopefully it's not running too hot for you now uh, do I usually have the mic off cam uh, yes I do David yes yes it's not often you see that um, I like to kind of just place it there so it kind of looks a bit better it's better than having a mic stuffed <laughs> in my face um, this jockey accordion perhaps yeah <laughs> Uh, Killer Games, iPhone 7 has a garage band app where you can make music. It's really good. Yeah, actually, that's similar to, to Logic, so really cool stuff. Um, Caddo's posted a link to my current studio setup, which is, again, it's another uh, topic there in the community, uh, so you can find uh, all the equipment that I'm using uh, to produce this show. Uh, big welcome to Bob Sidwell, who has joined the MRC Hot Band, which is a, a collaborative project in the uh, the community. So thanks to that. Uh, what's happening? Uh, Shame the mod tops out at five hertz. Yeah, I know that Don there referring to the phaser in Adobe Audition. Uh, what have we got? Diego Peters. Uh, also, Camoons One. Alorb Annexed843 joining on Periscope. Nice to have you there and watching on Periscope. Diego says, uh, Mike, much work for the radio. I watch later. Thank you for teaching beautiful things for radio. Have a nice day. It's very nice of you, Diego. Lewis is in. Uh, can we put an Adobe Audition shortcut cheat sheet in the community? Nice to learn what they are. Do you know what, Lewis? Actually, that is a, a fab, fab idea. Uh, I would really endorse uh, posting up in the community Adobe Audition shortcuts. I mean, like, not just a whole list of them, because, like, you know, we can probably find that at the official Adobe site. But, um, yeah, certainly if you've got shortcuts that you use all the time inside Adobe Audition, let's uh, create that. And I know in the community you can create posts that are called wiki posts, which means anyone can edit the initial post. So I think we should do something like that. And then we can share our hottest... Um, hotkeys our hottest hotkeys which would be really nice and uh, yeah I know I have a few and I'm loving David Silk's alt a and alt b in the multi-track um, put your hands up says uh, Rovigo 55 actually it's interesting you say that because I've got a little sound effect that I want to use later on let's see if I can sample it now put your hands in the air put your hands in the air put your hands in the air that's uh, a little recording uh, that I got earlier from uh, uh, a police radio. So I think that would be quite nice. Uh, I'm thinking of saying, put your hands in the air and dance. Uh, Christopher's in. Uh, what else have we got here? Joe is checking in from Georgia. Nice to have you there. Saying, I know it's kind of off topic, but I have some audio that is quiet and loud throughout. Uh, what's the best effect to even it out? Um, well, yeah, Caddo is uh, is replying there with definitely normalize first. Uh, a compressor to minus 12 dB soft sounds like a, a good plan. So thanks, Caddo, for helping uh, Joe out with the answer to that. Uh, control M to mix down to new file. All right, David, with your crazy shortcuts, we definitely need to get a thread in the community uh, about those shortcuts because they are brilliant. 
Um, I also like to put normalize on a, on a shortcut key too. Um, thanks, Anthony, for also answering there. Uh, Anthony says, how about changing pitch on the claps to sound... Whoa, now you are just blowing things all out of proportion, Anthony, here, with your suggestion to change the pitch. That's amazing. I'm going to do that right now, actually, while I'm just in this section uh, taking some of your comments. Uh, so let's, uh, let's do that. Hang on, take the pitch shifter off uh, from there. Oh, that was a nice bit of music, wasn't it? Uh, and we'll get back to more of your comments in about uh, just under eight minutes from now. Uh, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to, uh, to pitch a few of those by adding the pitch shifter to three of the tracks here. Time and pitch, pitch shifter, uh, time and pitch, pitch shifter. There we go. And uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, set that to the default and let's bring that down. So we've got one there uh, that we're changing, uh, one there. Oh, it sounds like a chipmunk is in the house. Hang on, let's bring that down a bit. That's a little bit much. <laughs> Very interesting uh, idea there with the uh, the pitching on the clap. So let's let's give it a go. See how we sound with that. Uh, let's just bring that one down in pitch a little bit and move the sense to fine tune there. Okay, nice. Right now, I'm just going to hop over into uh, Logic and have a little play uh, with some features over there. And uh, one of the places you can go to, actually, the the Ultra Beat uh, machine is actually brilliant. I love it so much. Ultra Beat synth is one of the more traditional synths in Logic, uh, and you can you can just do so much with this. But let me show you it in the context of something from the, uh, the library over here. So if I if I search for Siren you'll see all of these different sirens. And I seem to remember that these sirens here in the effects menu, you can actually access this in your library by going into electronic drum kit, drum machine designer, uh, kit pieces, FX over in Logic. And um, yeah, you've got some some cool stuff here. Uh, let me just find the key on my keyboard to, uh, to play one of these sirens. So I've got a little keyboard here to play in some MIDI information. There it is. So that could be a good siren, um, and we can drop the uh, we can drop it at different intensities. Uh, but more to the point, and while I'm actually demoing this, I'm just going to go back to Audition and uh, create a new file that's going to record what I'm making over there. Uh, so let's go to Analog Nine and Ten, and start recording from there. We'll go to a new audio file and start recording. There it is. Okay, so you can see that uh, that wonderful. Uh, sound that is being generated from the Ultra Beat synth inside Logic. And it's a very DJ sound, isn't it? But we can actually edit that. As you can see, there's a whole ton of effects that are on top of that. Uh, but it all starts life here in the uh, the Ultra Beat uh, module uh, here in Logic Pro. So let's have a look close up at this. Now we can we can change the sound of that siren. Uh, Little bits and bobs, if you've never used Ultra Beat before, uh, it's pretty easy to change, first of all, the volume of your siren by dragging that down. It goes quieter or up. It's at full intensity. You can pan it left and right also. Uh, and if you've got other stuff happening, because uh, Ultra Beat is essentially a sequencer, a drum sequencer, uh, electronic drum sequencer, and uh, you can have other bits and bobs here, and you can mute and solo different bits. But at the moment, we're just looking at one sound here. Um, and you've got uh, two oscillators, so you've got oscillator one, oscillator two, and also a noise oscillator. So if you imagine in Adobe Audition, uh, we've got a tone generator, that's like having an oscillator basically, and then noise generator as well. So the Ultra Beat is just a fancier version of all of these generate effects over in Audition. I can change this here by changing the pitch. That's gone down uh, an octave there, and it sounds pretty good, so we can do that. Uh, we can also change the shape of the waveform here by moving the saturation. So fatten it up. And uh, we can do other stuff like this one, so we can turn it into more of a sawtooth. Uh, 
And it's quite cool the way that ends. Wow, listen to that. Very cool. Uh, so that's basically just one oscillator running through this LFO over here. And again, uh, we can change all kinds of different bits. There's actually some, some clip running here. Turn the drive up, but that makes it a bit aggressive. Ch turn the color up. I think we get a bit of 8-bit uh, sounding uh, audio. So that's quite fun. And we can play that all in. Now, obviously, I'm recording into Adobe Audition for Ease, but uh, if you had this inside uh, your, your Logic Pro session, you could actually write on these automations as well. Down here is worth to look at as well, because this is your, your envelope. Uh, so you can see how the, the envelope or the, the fades on your audio are sounding. So just some, some basic uh, little things. And of course, the volume on your oscillator here. D -d DJ in the house. So that's very nice. Uh, let's zoom back out and have a look at some of these other sirens that we've got. Uh, so as well as this, we've got uh, depth charge, I seem to remember, is a good one. And uh, radiant, let's have a listen to this one. The audience is listening and uh, if you zoom in actually this is a really good example to show you uh, on the ultra beat uh, synth here because uh, we have all three uh, aspects of the synthesizer working oscillator one oscillator two and noise which is fantastic uh, so you can see how we can change things oscillator one so you see I've made the first uh, oscillator one blocky now, kind of square waveform, and you hear how it fattens out. Uh, the same over here with oscillator two, we can change that. So there we go, just playing with uh, playing with oscillator two for a bit there. And the noise is essentially, uh, if I switch the other two off, you're essentially sending a sweep out like this, uh, kind of shoo. Can you hear it? A building. This is how you'd make a riser. So that's a riser. And we've got low pass, but we can have high pass. Uh, all kinds of different effects here that you can, you can add on here at this stage. Um, and I think band one is currently being used here. So we can, if we drag this up, you won't hear anything really apart from the very, very high frequencies, because I've moved that right over. But we could say, boost up the bass, do it another way around, see how that sounds. And uh, there, there is not only band one, but you can also have band two if you want to go fine grain. So we've got this, and we've got this. So we can do all kinds of wobbly things here. Let's have a listen to how this sounds. Very nice. So uh, all kinds of bits and bobs. So a little look around uh, the Ultra Beat synth, which I think is really rather good in Logic Pro. Now, I did tell you, uh, obviously, I will get to your comments. So post a comment now. If you'd like a shout out, I would really, really like to mention you, uh, particularly if you've taken the time to show up for this show. I really appreciate you being there. Uh, and so it's important to get your message out uh, on this live stream. So post something in now. Uh, and while I'm waiting for you to post maybe your comment or question, Question. Um, I did want to get to another post here uh, inside the community, which you can access at community.musicradiocreative.com. And I've got to say, Jenny, hot jazz chick on the community, has really been taking the initiative, uh, and she has... Uh, basically posted this project on a fantastic website that actually I have to say before I started doing these streams I had never heard of it's called uh, Melocity I think Melocity um, and Melocity is essentially a real-time online collaborative platform where musicians and audio producers can get together and add their tracks so it's kind of audio editing in the cloud I'd never seen this before uh, but Jenny is basically uh, completely you know this is completely her project I have not 
what initiated this. She's just got in there and said, come on, guys, uh, let's get some musicians and producers together and create a, a, a tune, a kind of theme tune for MRC, which I think is amazing. Uh, so so Caddo's in there. Uh, we've also um, got Jenny working away on some of the vocals and some of the music. And I did see earlier on as well, uh, Caddo mentioned uh, we had a new addition, uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, mentioned somewhere here in the uh, in the chat as well. Uh, but we have a new addition uh, bringing vocals uh, to this uh, track as well. Uh, so if you'd like to maybe uh, mention the the name of the vocalist, I can give them a shout out. But here you go. This is what it looks like uh, in Melocity. Uh, so let me start playing it to you. Uh, this is all cloud-based, by the way. Nothing is happening inside software here. This is all in your web browser, which I find phenomenal. Close the online chat, I'm not going to be chatting away. And I see new tracks are appearing all the time. So this track is new. I'm assuming this is Caddo on the guitar, because he said he would uh, contribute. Bob. Bob is the vocalist you're about to hear in a moment. Bob's going to kick in around here, so let's listen to Bob's vocals. And I believe here we've got Jenny's backing vocals as well. Let's have a listen to Lowdown. MRC Station Ident. Enjoy everyone, and I feel like I'm on the air on a big city station now. Enjoy the music. You better bring the chick around. To the sad, sad truth, the dirty low down. So there you go. That is something that is currently in development mode, shall we say, in development mode. And uh, yeah, I just, I, I really, really like the idea of that. And you can see all the collaborators are here. Uh, so there they all are, uh, which is just amazing. I haven't used Melocity yet uh, myself to see how it would work. But to me, I mean, it seems very, very powerful. And I'm not sure, is it free? Can anyone confirm if it's free or not to use? Um, it seems to be, but they must have to have a way of making money, surely. Anyway, let's get over to uh, your comments and everything that you're saying right now in the chat. Always really appreciate uh, your chat. Uh, so what have we got here? Um, right. Cato, uh, <laughs> now I have a list of Mike's gear. I'll be sending a van around on Thursday. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. Uh, what else have we got? Um, let's see. Where did I leave off here in the chat? Barbara, hi, what have I missed? Uh, we are making a DJ drop. And actually, I played some nice effects into Adobe Audition, which I'm going to utilize in just a moment in that drop. Uh, Paul Orr, loving the show, watching from Knoxville, Tennessee, which is pretty awesome indeed. Uh, what else have we got? Um, let's have a look. Tea looks very clear and transparent, says Renato. Yes, it's, it's green tea, green tea. Mm. Nothing better than green tea. Uh, I mentioned uh, a few weeks ago, I came off coffee completely. No more coffee for me. Very rarely black tea now. It's all green tea. And I have to say, I am not missing coffee at all. It's funny how you trick your brain into feeling that you need it, especially us being in the creative industry. We think, oh my goodness, I've got to have a cup of coffee before I can create anything, otherwise my brain doesn't work. And I felt absolutely awful for a week, which, you know, sorry, I'm getting on my rant on coffee now. You've started me, on, don't start me on caffeine again. <laughs> you know, yeah, for a week after I stopped drinking coffee, I felt awful. And I thought, you know, Anything that makes you feel like that when you come off it and it's not illegal uh, should probably be illegal, right? Or am I, I don't know, what's your opinion? Let me know in the chat. Uh, Pete, this is really creative, thank you. Uh, Jumba is watching from Uganda. Uh, Dan, hi to you on Facebook Live from Wakefield in the UK. Do mention where you're watching from if you're on Facebook Live. Type in the comments now uh, with your location. Cy Bradley is in as well. Beast, downloaded FL Studio. Please, can you make a video on how to use FL Studio for beginners? Uh, that could be quite meta because I would technically be a beginner in FL Studio. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe one day <clears throat> if we get a dusty old Windows PC in our studios, uh, I might have a play with it. Um, 
What else have we got、uh, here? Hi to Charlie from Mexico. I've got a question about audio production,、uh, particularly with Adobe Audition CC 2017. Is it possible to record MIDI tracks from a USB controller?、Uh, no. Absolutely not in Adobe Audition. Unfortunately, no, no MIDI in integration、uh, at the moment.、Uh, but yeah, I recommend Logic if you're on a Mac, and if you're on a PC, take your pick. Ableton, FL Studio.、Uh, there's even a free and open source uh, MIDI uh, door called LMMS that I demonstrated on the How to Create Game Sound Effects、uh, show. So that might be quite good for you. Uh, your show makes me addicted. <laughs> Thank you.、Uh, what else have we got?、Uh, Luke's in as well, watching.、Uh, what else here? Um, uh, <laughs> this one hour goes too quickly. Thank you, David. You're very kind. Rajiv, seventy thousand subscribers and thirty-five viewers. Great. Actually, from what I can see on my dashboard, it's thirty-four currently on YouTube,、uh, but more watching across the other platforms on the internet. So、uh, yeah, it's it's a really fun show to do. I really enjoy doing this.、Um, <laughs> almost like New York minutes, amazing.、Uh, yeah, best to think of Adobe Audition primarily as a wave editor. Cado is spot on there.、Uh, loving Jenny's backing vocals, Don. You're right; they sound amazing, don't they? Uh, amazing vocals as well, says Paul.、Uh, Mr. Mega Radio UK、uh, has reposted his、uh, his audio production attempt in the community, and David Lewis is in as well. Nice to see you, David. Will you be uploading the clap file? I'd love to use it. Yes, maybe I'll pitch it back down though. I don't want to send you my chipmunk、uh, clapping, but I'll, I'll definitely send you a few effects that I make today、uh, in the community.、Uh, Anthony, coffee is not good for vocals prior to recording or broadcasting. See, I knew it. I knew there was a reason. Always use lemon, water, and honey. This was recommended to me a long time ago. Really good advice there, Anthony.、Uh, I prefer Fisherman's Friends, says Don. You do have a Windows PC, Mike. Fire up Boot Camp. Oh no! Don't get me started on Boot Camp and partitioning my HDD. I'm not going to dirty my Macintosh hard disk with Windows. <laughs> no, I mean if I really wanted Windows, I could probably,、uh, you know, spin up a, a, a virtual machine and, and do it that way,、uh, even in the cloud. Like I, I use Linode. If anyone's interested, that's the that's the web host I use、uh, to host. Uh, pretty much everything to do with music radio creative Linode. They're very good. MRC.FM/Linode, L-I-N-O-D-E, and、uh, they have basically servers available for developers. So you could probably. I don't know if you can do Windows on it actually, but、uh, I know with Amazon Web Services you can.、Um, but you know, I got like stuff like Ubuntu and Debian.、Uh, no, Debian, Debian, Debian. I think is the correct term、uh, running there. So yeah, it's good fun. Anyway. Those are your、uh, questions and chats for the moment. It's always、uh, lovely to, yeah. Hey, I've just seen Isabella's comment. Cado should be the male singer on the MRC jingle. That's right. We we should. Oh no. Well, maybe Isabella's referring to something else. But、uh, Cado, maybe maybe you should sing on the jingle. Anyway, let's get back into this and see what we've generated here.、Uh, let's normalize all of this.、Uh, so all of our little synthy bits and bring it in. And we'll see what kind of audio we can make here.、Uh, so again,、uh, you can also generate a new track in Audition just by dragging stuff onto a, onto the what is the master track. Once it goes onto the master track, it pops out a new track. So let's see what we've got here. We've got little synthy bits here,、uh, and we've got、uh, stuff like this. Let's find some of my favourite stuff. So this is a nice riser. We've got some nice risers here. That's a nice riser. I'm going to take that. I'm going to use that. That will definitely become a part of the project. And let's see what else we've got here. Oh, that's that's just white noise. No, I don't want any of that. That will do for now.、Uh, so let's get rid of all of that. Let's just keep what we've got here. Uh, what else do I want to integrate? Now the cool thing with this is,、uh, once I've found a few effects I like, I can also load them into, or you can load them into your DJ software if you're a DJ. So yeah, we've got all kinds of options there, but I think I'm going to go with these these little bits here and pull them in. And、uh, 
we'll see what we can make with this. So let's drag that into the start here. So that'll be the start of it, and then we'll end with this nice riser at the end. Um, we need some kind of like a uh, nice explosion or something at the end. Uh, let's see what we can get. There is actually a very good one here. Uh, we got sweep. Uh, I seem to remember sweep snapback being very good. Let's see whether we can find that right now. Bring it up on the audio here. It's not too bad, is it? And we're using just noise there, as you can see. Hey, Caddo, thanks so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Caddo uh, has just donated a super chat on behalf of Saba, who can't use the super chat. That is amazing. Uh, thank you, Caddo, for enabling that. And thank you so much to Saba for uh, making that awesome super chat. Saba, actually a very active member of the Music Radio Creative community as well. Uh, so super, super grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so here we go with this uh, the sweep. Just going to add a few bits and bobs to it, maybe distort it a little bit. What's the boom bap do? Let's try that instead. Hang on. Oh, that's got a nice kick to it, hasn't it? So this is just a, a phase oscillator at the moment. Let's get that sounding how we want. And maybe bring another oscillator in. Whoa. Uh, or it, actually, the coolest thing is with Ultrabeat as well, you can load in samples as well. Um, so let's just do, um, I don't know, something creative that I want to load in. Uh, let's just create a quick sample here. Sample, and um, I'll just record. Ooh. Oh, that'd be nice if I had the, uh, <laughs> the microphone enabled here in Audition. Let's do that. So let's do that and that. And then just sample the voice going. Ooh. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't always come out the way you imagine, but it does eventually come out. Uh, normalize it. And I'm going to add on a bit of compression as well. Uh, just the, uh, the tiniest smidge of compression. Let's look in the real time preview what's going on there. Oh, that's that's probably enough. Now we'll just tighten that all up nicely, like so. So I'll drop this into the Ultrabeat sampler. Uh, downloads, we'll call this, ooh, like that. And then we'll go back over here. Uh, and then uh, what I can do here in this sampler, let's just go up close here, is I can go in and I should be able to load in a sample. There we go. So we'll have a look here and go to my downloads where I saved it, there it is. And now you can see the waveform here. Let's play it, see whether it plays. Hopefully it will play. Uh, yeah, so you can actually hear, you can hear it's modulating my my uh, with the, uh, the first oscillator. So now I can just uh, sample that to get it sounding how I want. So amazing how you can use the voice as an instrument uh, just by modulating it with some tones and even some noise. going to use noise in this particular instance though. We can go for the FM oscillation instead, frequency modulation. And move it up. That's sounding pretty good. Uh, again, if we want, we can play with this over here and we can kind of make it hard in or soft in. So I'm just changing the envelope basically. Uh, 
Okay, and let's go ahead and resample that over into Adobe Audition. So here we are, uh, 9 and 10 again. And then we've got a nice way of ending off this DJ drop. So new audio file, record, and a nice big sample in here. Yes, go. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. Uh, so we'll just normalize this and then we will take it all in. Let's zoom back out so you can see everything here. Uh, so there it is. And at the end, uh, let's go in and bring this into the mix here. And um, I might actually again play with this. So we're kind of ending around here. And what I want to do is add some real beefy kind of um, reverb onto this final effect here. So I'm going to do that. And uh, then I'm going to pan these over a little bit like so. And we got... Uh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, what I might want to do is just kind of multiply that, stutter it in. And then I am also going to uh, bus these. So Alt-B, new stereo bus, and we'll put this all through to uh, the bus B that we've got here. Bus B, bus B, bus B. Okay. So that's, um, that's pretty cool. Um, I might just go and slap on a few different EQs uh, to each different uh, ooh that we've got there. So we've got a kind of different dynamic. Let's, let's have a look here and we'll go to EQ and we'll move up different bands here. There we go. And then finally on bus B, I'm going to throw in some reverb as well. Studio reverb, maybe? Mm, maybe or maybe not. Let's go back to default. Let's bring those high frequencies in. Bring the light up. It's quite a dark reverb. So there we go. We've got the uh, the basis of a DJ drop now with some effects. Uh, so yeah, we could use that, or uh, maybe I'm thinking something just a little more powerful. Uh, maybe we'll drag this uh, onto its new. Uh, track here so let's create a new track here pull that down and again I'm going to add some reverb to this let's go for convolution reverb we can actually maybe double that so that's what we've got so far. Uh, just before I get into finishing this off and adding some voices in, uh, let's say a big hello to you if you are watching uh, right now on the live stream. Dan, for instance, is asking, what's your opinion on indoor uh, plug-in and door companies going down the subscription route rather than buying outright? I think it's a really decent idea. I much prefer uh, paying an affordable amount every month than, uh, yeah, you know, having to fork out a few thousand pounds uh, every year or two when the upgrade cycles eventually come along. So yeah, for me, it's much more economical. I, I still think I'm probably paying the same amount of money just over a, a period of time. So I think it's it's smart for the end user. And I think it's also a smart business move uh, for those companies that choose to do it. And obviously, I am a subscriber of <laughs> a cloud subscription service. So yeah, very, very much kind of happy with that setup, uh, certainly for my workflow and the way business works for me. Um, what else have we got? Barbara, I will vouch for Fisherman's Friends to uh, keep your voice nice and fresh. I work many conventions talking all day and the lozenges help keep my voice intact all week. Nice. Happy Indian, tell me the best DJ software. Oh yeah, I could recommend you actually uh, DJ Pro, 
which is really cool from Algorithm. It's only available, I think, for the Apple uh, products. Uh, but you can do some really cool stuff with this. Uh, it's got a bit crusher, a flanger, a gate. Uh, and also, if we go over here, it's got like little pads here. So you can play uh, like a, well, everyone loves this as a DJ. You can't be a DJ and not play. But the, the reason I really like this as well is you can load in, you can edit these pads and you can add your own stuff. So say if I was generating some effects, I could then load them into this piece of software and, uh, and then use them in my mixes, which would work really well for me. So that's what I recommend when it comes to DJing. Uh, but Rovigo55 is recommending Virtual DJ, uh, which I've not had experience with, but maybe uh, potentially that's a good idea. I've also heard Serato and Tractor are pretty good. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, <laughs> David saying to Isabella, watch one of your outtake videos with Mike trying to introduce Robin Banks. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we do get a bit silly in the videos for sure. Absolutely. Uh, please, can you do a tutorial on how to set up a USB mic in Tractor Pro as I'm having issues? Uh, I would assume it's the same as uh, most software. You go into like the, uh, the preferences. Uh, like over here uh, on uh, certainly on DJ Pro, uh, I click devices here, usually the sound icon, and then you can choose your outputs and your inputs. And obviously, yeah, you can with DJ Pro, which I assume Liam would be the same as Tractor, you can have a main output, you can have a pre queuing output, and you can also have uh, a microphone plumbed in as well and working at the same time. Uh, but Caddo is right in saying that USB mics have very poor quality. Give it a separate channel with no USB hub. So that's very good advice uh, indeed. Uh, anything else that I can mention at this moment? I admire how quick you work in AA. That's Adobe Audition. I wish I will come uh, that far sometime, but I have to watch so many shows. Well, I appreciate you being there, Pete. Uh, watching from Austria right now. Uh, any more comments? Uh, Mark's there. Caught you live again. Nice to have you in, Mark, and watching. Uh, very nice indeed. Uh, greets from me again in Indonesia, says Dan, Danny, Danny Garcia. Uh, <laughs> and lots of nice chat going on. By the way, I should mention, if you want to continue this conversation outside of the live stream, beautiful conversation always occurs here. Uh, we feature some of the best comments, as you can see, and um, you can continue it over at community.musicradiocreative.com, community.musicradiocreative.com, uh, and go ahead and make a post and keep the conversation going outside of this live stream. Hello to you on Facebook Live, by the way, and wherever else you're watching i know we're on periscope uh we're on twitch we're on mixer and lots of other platforms uh thanks to a great service that i'm using uh, over at mrc.fm slash restream if you want to sign up to that and restream your live streams all over the internet to different platforms i highly recommend it uh so there you go um brilliant always love to to answer the questions there's always so many to get through in this show but that's part of the reason i love doing live uh the the opportunity to interact and chat. Now I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to record into here. What's this? Put your hands in the air. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I definitely wanted to use that sample. Uh, so we'll go over here and we'll put an input in. It's going to be a mono input. It's going to be my microphone. Uh, so I'll just record some DJ bits and we can use them here. So arm the track for recording. There I am recording in nicely. Uh, so And as you can hear, if I start recording there, it is actually playing back the audio. Might just take that down because that's a little bit distracting at the moment. So let's just do this. Get ready and dance. DJ Mike. Okay. So some basic uh, audio recorded in there that we can use. Let's just go over and normalize this right now. Okay, that looks good. And uh, actually what I might do as well is just pop on the MRC Magic to that audio. Make it pop out a bit more. Get ready and dance. That is a bit uh, loud. Let's pull that down. DJ Mike. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the basis of our DJ drop. Our demo DJ drop that goes with the DJ sound effects. So let's use the, uh, the template effects now we've got here with Adobe Audition's DJ drop template. 
Get ready. So we've got get ready, and then I want to bring in the uh, police radio bit here. Let's have a listen. Get ready. So that's going to be there. Get ready. Put your hands in the air. And dance. Get ready. Put your hands in the air. And dance. And uh, obviously I can't resist uh, having this. So let's uh, just tighten that up and bring that out. And we'll do this. And another example I can do. And dance. Finally, we'll just move that onto the flanger track here. Fade out just here. J Mike. J Mike. Yeah. EJ, EJ Mike. Yeah. So that's a, that's a basic uh, drop there. If I now move that along in the multi track and head back to uh, where was the music track, nice music track we had here. Just going to bring in some music here. So this could be a song that we're playing as a DJ. And uh, one of the coolest things you can do in Adobe Audition, let me show you this on solo actually, uh, is you can automate parts of your music track, just as you could with a real DJ mix piece of software. Uh, I might want to go into the effects rack over here and add on something like, uh, let's have a look here. Um, I would like to add on modulation and phaser. And we'll go for the Z Leppling because that's always very apparent. So you can hear how that phases things. Now DJs often do this with their tracks and you can create a similar effect here in Audition uh, by showing, uh, first of all we want track EQ and we want high shelf gain showing. That's this line just here. And then show envelopes for the phaser and we want the mix of the phaser to be able to turn up and down. So what I can now do is uh, bring this down like this in EQ and then bring this up. So often DJs will do this in their mixes. They bring the EQ. Oh, hang on. One last thing I didn't do, and that's enable the EQ automation on that track by going into mixer. Now you'll see the EQ changing in real time. Watch this bit here. See how it rolls off all the high? Watch again. And then back. There it all goes. Uh, so obviously the phaser again, I'm going to bring that in in parallel with the EQ change so that you get that nice kind of sweeping EQ change that DJs do so often. Let's have a listen to it now from the start. Maybe just bring, bring those handles out a little bit more so we hear that automation nicely. So a nice little trick you can do there in the multi-track of Adobe Audition uh, with your automation envelopes there, which are absolutely brilliant. And uh, often DJs will do that kind of thing when they're trying to blank out lyrics from a song because they want the crowd to sing along to it. They'll roll off all the highs, keep, keep the bass in, and add a little bit of phaser there. So you, that's how you hear that sweepy kind of kind of effect as the uh, the frequencies are changing. Well, it's been wonderful uh, to have you there in the chat today. I see David Actor VO. Hello to you. Thank you for joining in. If the track is stereo, try a phase inversion to reduce uh, and bounce and revert to normal. I think Caddo answering a question there. Uh, Mike, uh, Mark says, hi, Mike. Any tips on how to remove reverb? Oh, I will be uh, covering that in a future video. Uh, so stick around on the channel and come over to the community if you're not there already and post in there. And I'm sure myself and others will be able to help you out. But uh, there are loads of ideas there. It's been great. Sorry to you if I did not get to your comment today. Uh, I try to get to as many as I can. But do keep the conversation going. Uh, make a post as soon as this stream ends over here at community.musicradiocreative.com and we can keep on chatting. And I will be back on the live stream right here tomorrow remember to subscribe